I've got a ton of filters sitting here in front of me. Some fuel filters, a bunch of oil filters, because in my business, I get the unique opportunity of seeing a lot of different types of engines and a lot of different types of use cases that use a lot of different filters. And so I've begun taking these and cutting them apart so that I can inspect and have a better idea of who's making a quality filter and who is making more of an iffy filter. I've recently run across a unique opportunity here to take apart an oil filter that has 404 hours of runtime in a rental personal watercraft environment. Now, 400 hours, if you equate that to it's going 55 miles an hour, that would be approximately 22,000 miles. So the big difference here is in a personal watercraft, this is going to be high RPM, full load. So 22,000 miles isn't truly accurate as to comparing it to an automotive case. This is probably pretty nasty. Now, I've cut this apart and got it here. Let's just take a look and see what the inside of this Yamaha filter looks like after 404 hours of runtime. That's no break in, no nothing. This came from the dealership didn't get its oil touched for 404 hours. So if we take this filter apart, let me get you panned down so that you can really see what's going on. So looking at this Yamaha filter with 404 hours on it, notice that it is discolored. Comparatively on a filter that's been changed more recently like this Wix filter here, this metal is still silver, whereas on this one, it is all discolored brown and has some buildup on there that is clearly pretty nasty. Now we do have a nice round cut o-ring here for sealing as well as an anti-drain back valve. Now you see that the discoloration here it, it's evident that this filter has been in the machine for a long time. If we pull the filter media up out we look at it it is very dirty almost burnt looking and we do have evidence of some small uh, bits of debris perhaps some bearing material in there there's some sparkly bits so that kind of tells us that 400 hours is a bit too much uh, to wait for your personal watercraft now there is reinforcement on the inside of that but it is not affixed to it and also note that there is no clip or anything to back up the filter media where it is joined together over here. So this is just glued on the ends. There's no sort of metal end cap. It is just glued and the pleats are supporting themselves with the help of that little inner tube. Now we have a stamped steel end cap here, which supports the filter media at the right height in the filter can. And we have a plastic bypass valve up here in the top. Now this, again, you can see this caked on sludge that is just all over every part of this filter. So that's the color of the metal. And this is all this sludge that's in here. So this filter has certainly gotten used. They definitely got their money's worth out of that filter. I would recommend against waiting 400 hours to change your oil in your personal watercraft, but this is kind of what you can expect to see. Now, if you enjoyed seeing this filter cut apart and kind of getting an idea of what's inside your oil filter, you can check up here in the corner. I will have a link to the playlist of all the various filters that I've cut apart, or you can go to trythistv.com filters, and there I have on the website a list of all the filters and some cross references and things of filters that I commonly use. Now in these videos that I've done, I try to be as objective as possible. I'm not giving you my opinion on the filters. I'm just commenting on the observable build quality. Is there metal end caps on the filter? What's the O-ring look like? What's the anti-drain back look like? so that you can have an unbiased opinion on what filters are reasonably good. 
you can look at it, you can see it and say, well, boy, I don't really like that. So hopefully you'll enjoy watching these videos. I haven't released these videos because I don't want to plug up everybody's inbox with short videos of basically boring nonsense for what most people are going to be looking at. But if you're interested in what filters on your engine look like on the inside, go take a look. Thanks for watching.